Good morning and welcome again to our daily service. This week we're going back to the beginning, the beginning of the Bible, the beginning of all things. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's how the Bible begins. That's how God first introduces himself to us as the creator. That's the first thing he wants us to understand about him, that he is the one who made all things. Before we think more about those opening verses in Genesis, though, we're going to read together a few verses from a psalm to help focus our thoughts on this theme. This is from Psalm 33. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, their starry host by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea into jars. He puts the deep into storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world revere him. For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. Let me pray. Father, as we come before you now, may we fear and revere you as we should. Help us to grasp afresh this great and wonderful truth about you, that you are the creator of everything. As we listen to your word, may we tremble mindful that your word is a powerful word and yet knowing too that it is a gracious and life-giving one. So speak to our hearts now for we ask in Jesus name. Amen. Well let me read then the first 10 verses of Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it. And it was so. God called the vault sky, and there was evening and there was morning the second day. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land and the gathered waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. The chapter goes on to speak of God creating the sun, the moon, the stars, the birds of the air, the fish of the seas, all the creatures that move upon the earth. This is the beginning of what will be a great drama. But before we simply marvel at the, the stage and the scenery, we're meant to marvel at God, the one who made it. God is introducing himself. He is to be the, the, the main actor. This drama is his drama. This stage is his stage, for he made it for himself. As we live out our small part in this drama, that is a fundamental truth for each of us to grasp. We are not centre stage. It's not all about us. We were made by him and for him. Everything in the world around us that we enjoy is his 
because he made it. And as we enjoy all these many good things, we're to remember that, to remember him. As we potter in the garden and smell the roses, or go for a walk and enjoy the countryside, as we listen to the birds or listen to music, it's all his, for he made it. Even the ears and eyes and bodies with which we enjoy it, he made it all. And he delights in it. God saw that it was good. Of course, we're going to learn that this world has been spoilt, but that does not change the fact that God loves this world. He cares about this world, for he made it. And as he steps onto the stage at the beginning of this, this great drama, notice one other thing. There's many things we might notice here. But just notice this. He speaks. It's familiar to us. But it's an extraordinary thing that God made everything simply by speaking. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Of course, that shows that God's word is very powerful. Shows God is very powerful. But more than that, it tells us something very important about how God relates to his world, how he engages with it. He does so through his word. To know this God, to honour this God. It's not simply a matter of enjoying the things he's made. No, we need to listen to him. If this God speaks, then we must listen. We must obey. We're going to pray now. And we're going to begin by saying together some words from a great prayer of Nehemiah. Blessed be your glorious name, and may it be exalted above all blessing and praise. You alone are the Lord. You made the heavens, even the highest heavens, and all their starry host, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them. You give life to everything, and the multitudes of heaven worship you. Father, as now the multitudes of heaven worship you, one day all creation will praise you. The sea and everything in it, the world and all who live in it, the rivers and trees will clap their hands, the mountains and hills will burst into song. For all that you have made is for your glory. And so now we praise you and we thank you for your grace in all that you have given us to enjoy. Help us to enjoy you in everything and to enjoy everything in you to your glory. Amen. We bring our world before you, Father, knowing that it is your world and that you care deeply for it. And yet because of our rebellion against you, it's now a broken world. A world with so much injustice, so much oppression, so many needs, so many hurts. You made this world in love and we have filled it with hate. Lord, have mercy we pray. Hasten the day when this world will at last know your peace, the day when all things are brought together under one head, even Christ. We ask this for his name's sake. Amen. As we pray for that day to come, let's join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We're going to sing now. It's a hymn that is a great hymn of praise to our creator God. Thank you for joining us. Let me say a final prayer. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>